In this video, I've got a really quick fix for those of you that are having trouble with your product images. This is for you guys that are running WooZone or WZone or whatever they call it now. If you've got an Amazon affiliate website set up, you probably followed one of my previous tutorials and you've imported all your products, but for whatever reason, the product images aren't showing. So let's get that fixed. Hello, it's Alex here. I wasn't gonna actually make a video today, um, but yeah, I've got a fix for this problem. So I thought, hey, do a quick video, let you guys know, share the love and all that business. I might be looking a little bit scruffy. I'm, I had a very late night, little babies, very poorly. She's got a cold, blocked up nose, so she's been up all night. So if I look a bit of a mess, I do apologize. I, I was even considering just kind of not using the camera, just doing it on the computer, but hey, here I am. Let's go. So um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's get on the computer. I'll show you how to uh, fix this problem. So if you're running um, WooZone, you've got an affiliate site and your product images aren't showing, yeah, I've got a solution. Uh, it's really straightforward. You are gonna need a little bit of code um, to copy and paste. And I've put that code over on wpeagle.com. Check the description for a direct link um, to the code and then you just gotta copy and paste it. Anyway, all become clear. Let's get on the computer. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm over at this site, which is replicafootballtops.com, which is a site that's been created by one of you guys. And uh, yeah, it's got a problem where the product images aren't showing, as we can see. We've got all the product names and, and prices and that kind of stuff, but no images. This site, by the way, is running the storefront theme, which is a free theme. And if you wanna make a site just like this, then check out the description for a link to the tutorial where I take you through uh, building a site just like this. I'll put a card up as well. Give it a click if you haven't got a site like this and you want one. But anyway, I'm sure you already have, which is why you're watching this video. Maybe you've got a problem with your product images too. So they're not showing here the product images and they're also not showing when you click through. Um, interestingly, the uh, kind of secondary images are but the main one isn't. But anyway, we've got a quick fix. We need to add a little bit of code um, to our functions file, which is a theme file. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that really easily with a plugin, a free plugin. So let's go to dashboard. Then go to plugins. Then if we do a search for custom function, the first plugin that comes up is um, this one here, which is my custom functions, which is what we want. So let's click install. And then once it's installed, click activate. Now the bit of code that we're gonna be putting in, um, I actually got from AA team. I, I raised a ticket with their support and they gave me this bit of code. Um, so you can just copy and paste it. I will have to put it over on wpeagle.com because I can't add bits of code to the YouTube description. So head over to wpeagle.com, you'll find a link in the description of this video that you can just simply copy and paste. So I've got this new plugin here, my custom functions. I'm gonna to go to settings. You can also find the settings under settings, funnily enough. <laughs> it's under PHP inserter. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, delete this bit here and I'm gonna paste in the code, I've got it in my clipboard already. It's this bit here, add filter and blah, 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 blah. I say, you can find this bit of code over at wpeagle.com, and then you can simply copy and paste it too. You wanna to make sure that this is set to on, tick the little switch, and then click save changes. Now let's go and check out the site. Here's our images. All done. So I hope that's fixed your product images and they're all showing nicely now. If it did help you out, please click the like button below because that'll really help me out. Uh, remember, I'm going live tomorrow, which is Wednesday the, let me look at me watch, the 6th, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday the 6th. We're going live at 8 p.m. UK time. Be good to have you on. Um, I'll be there to answer your questions and have a chat about affiliate and WordPress and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, be great to see you if you can make it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go now. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, then please do click the subscribe button. Uh, you can just click on that little eagle up there and click the little bell to be notified when I do upload some videos. Talking of videos, 
here's another video. If you've got some time, fancy watching something, go check it out. It's been chosen especially for you. <laughs> Until next time, bye for now.